Wallenda announced he's going to do a tightrope walk between two of the tallest buildings in Chicago. It's incredible, and he's not the only one activating our adrenal glands. A new generation of daredevils on The Incredulist. It used to be motorcycle jumps and getting shot out of cannons, but today's daredevil is taking it to another level. It won't be Nick Walenda's first trip to the high-risk rodeo. In 2013, America bit its collective nails for a harrowing 22 minutes as he, on live TV no less, Praise God, this is awesome. Prayed to stay upright in the whipping canyon winds. Walenda isn't the only nut job to risk becoming a Rorschach block. Earlier this month, two fearless French dudes traveled to Dubai and base jumped off Burj Khalifa. At 2,700 feet, it's the world's tallest building. And what is it with French guys in tall buildings? Elaine Robert, the French Spider-Man, climbed to the top of the 1,500-foot Patronus Towers in Malaysia. No fancy stuff. This death defier's only supplies are climbing shoes, a small bag of chalk to help his grip, and a pair of handcuffs because he's been arrested several times and expelled from China for his antics. At the top of our list, guys in wingsuits. It wasn't enough for squirrel-suited Jeb Corliss to jump out of a helicopter. He then had to fly through a hole in a mountain. It was the single gnarliest thing I've ever done in my life. Sounds like he's flying high. Crazy feats of courage from modern-day daredevils on The Incredulous.